It's Saturday. Going to solve the Saturday puzzle. Here we go. New York Times. Crossword. Saturday. It's supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to be tough. Let's see if it is. I, I bet it is. <laughs> Rebecca Goldstein and Rafael Musa. They're the constructors. My name is Steve. I'm the solver. This is Solve with Steve. Let's do it. Oh, it's kind of like a, sort of like an S shape. There's an S in there. This is my puzzle. This is Solve with Steve. It's an S. I don't know who wrote uh, Jenny Hans to the wall of the boys I've to all the boys I've loved before. I don't know. Has a great voice. Rasps. Like a raspy voice. Perfume named after a pop star. Could be anybody. In time. Soon enough. I don't know. Well, actually, that fits. Soon enough. Huh. Probably not right. I'm right here, you know. Psst. Uh, oh, no. I think that's a hem. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, I'm right here, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, come on. I can't type. What is going on? Ah, hem. There we go. Period before sunset. Oh, the golden hour. Ideal lighting for photography. You're supposed to take selfies in the golden hour. Not the golden hour. Golden hour. Let's go of, I don't know, uh, drops, faint reactions, harvest swoons. <sighs> okay. Uh, Pink-headed mushroom in Mario games. Oh, I don't know what they're called. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of soon enough because that's clearly wrong. Staying power. You got legs if you can stay. To state is to avow. I state. I avow. This is a great clue. A big move is a reload. Relocation. A cry while being felt. And one. Uh, 12 down participant, I don't know yet. Takes the lead in the team project, runs point. Uh, another basketball cub, really, that's that's based on a basketball. So exciting. Ah! H? G? I don't know. Um, it will eventually, it's, it's uh, in time, eventually. So, okay, 12 down participant, what is 12 down? Um, 12 down is landlord's concern. Rent strike, maybe? I don't know. Rent something. Participant is a... We eventually, oh, come on, dude, type. <laughs> All right, the cab's here. Napa Valley with Cabernet is, that's so kind. I don't know, let's go back up to here. Uh, opening is a slot, hybrid fruit and aprium. How about a pluot? It's plum and apricot. Uh, I've never heard of an aprium. I have seen pluots in the store. All right, dark grape variety, Syrah is a dark grape. Unbeatable is, I don't know, pink-headed mushroom, toad something. I don't know, person who's left for short. Left, like left, a Democrat is a left winger generally. Okay, a fly catcher is a mitt, like you literally catch a fly ball, a baseball, uh, and you're a mitt. Okay, marathon markers of sorts. I don't know. Disclaimer for an uncomfortable question. I don't know. Landlord's concern, rent, is rent something. How about, it could be rent strike. The tenants participate in a rent strike. Couldn't eat another bite. I'm set, I'm full, I'm done. I think let's go with I'm set. Toad, I don't know. Let's go of... Oh, yeah, the, I like the S there. Okay. Perfume named after a pop star. Uh, Jerry for one of the Spice Girls. Uh, Tori for Tori Amos. Not exactly pop star. It could be anybody. Um, Siri for some AI song that she sings. I don't know. Uh, all right. Uh, unbeatable. The best. Yeah. Simply the best. Better than all the rest. A woman of Wimbledon five times between Arthur Ashe and John McEnroe. Um, oh, what's his name? Bjorn Borg. Yeah, okay. Coast, I don't know. Uh, influences include the mambo and mento. How about ska? Uh, made a sound of the flute. Tooted? Flouted? Uh, I don't know. Adjective, that one's lone vowel is doubled, becomes a gla oh, glad, becomes glad, which is what, gay and lesbian, something, something, something. I don't know. Um, coast is, I don't know. A marathon markers of oh race bibs the markers not markers on the road markers on the on the runner toadette would be a pink headed mushroom maybe okay disclaimer before an uncomfortable question uh, I don't know I don't know let's go of cans we're letting you go like uh, like let's go of an employee a perfume named after possible oh, Riri is it named after Rihanna uh, I I hate to pry I hate to I hate to ask but I'm going to ask. Uh, coast is to sail. Yes, okay. Made a sound of the flute. I don't know. Something. T love scene. How about tennis? Okay, so we got two tennis. We got a lot of sports. We got we got uh, Bjorn Borg and tennis showing up. We have uh, and one and runs point for the basketball fans. Our feline hybrids are. We got pluots and now we have a feline hybrid. Is it a tiger or something? Ty ty tyon. I know about. Is a lion and a tiger. I'm not sure what this one is. Okay, still learning. Don't know. Uh, be reasonable. Easy now. Hey now. Something now. Uh, that's so kind. Aw, oh, gee. Uh, still learning. I don't know. Cop to, I don't know, is to admit. Um, former NBA coach, was it Donald Lieberman? No, that doesn't sound right. 
Is it Donald Lieberman? Oh, he's like, like from the very beginning of WNBA. I totally remember the name. Uh, fashion items may be a bit steep, something about heels, high heels, uh, stilettos. Yeah, that totally fits. Okay. They're steep, right? Okay. Uh, things that might hurt you to the core. Uh, abs, sore abs, something like that. I don't know. Uh, made a sound with a flute. I still don't know. Uh, still learning. I still don't know. A feline hybrids, tie, tie, tie gons? I thought they were tie -ons. Maybe they're tie gons. Nancy Lieberman. That's her name. Yes, totally. Cop to You're going to own it. Still, You're new at something. You're still learning it. Okay, yes. Um, made a sound with a flute. Clocked? Clink. Oh, a champagne flute. Clink. A wine glass. Clink. Very good, very good. Big brand of coolers is Yeti. Yeah. Uh, Yanks. Ooh, tugs at. How about that? Uh, what requires a charge to use in two senses? Oh, I don't know. Um, some sort of uh, technology where you have to pay to use it and also you need to use electricity. What may go to waste? No. What waste may go to? Huh? I don't get it. Okay. Um, Sit-ups might hurt you. Oh, I said sore abs. I was right. Sit-ups might hurt you. Tough work schedule is 9 to 5. No, that doesn't do Okay. Uh, noodle with uh, mentsuyu sauce. How about soba? Uh, that looks like it would fit. Uh, two steps ahead of you. Uh, I don't know. Hawaiian lava flow. What might you see on a Hawaiian lava flow? Don't know. Uh, require a charge to use something phone. Um, maybe it's not a cell phone. Maybe it's a, I don't know, smartphone. There we go. Uh, what may go to waste? No, what waste may go to, I don't know. Tony and Grammy winner Mitchell. Is that the first name or the last name? I don't know either one. Uh, oversupply is to sate, I think. Is there too much? I don't know about that. Uh, two steps ahead of you is on it. Oh, tugs on, not tugs it. Tugs, not tugs at, but tugs on. And Nene is the, the bird that you might see because it'll light on the Hawaiian lava flow and then fly off. Okay, what may go to waste? No, what waste may go to something bin, trash bin. Tough, or oh, work nights is tough. A compost bin. Yeah. Which may go to waste, or the waste may go to, you put it in the compost. Okay, Tony Grandma, I still don't, Anais Mitchell, Anais Mitchell, is that right? Uh, opera about an opera singer is Tosca. Uh, who says... Um, Roger Daltrey? No. Who said? I don't know. Uh, Asian honorific. Um, this could be Anais. Uh, University overlooking the Hudson River is, yeah, our Ron Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in the capital region. It's in Troy, New York, near Albany. Uh, so this is Anais Mitchell. I think I've heard of your name somewhere. I don't know. You're, you must be good if you won both two, uh, Tony and a Grammy. Uh, you're only an Emmy and an Oscar away from the EGOT. Asian honorific about Llama. Who says Lemon? Timon? Um, rye posts are, are bull mows, are, are quick, uh, right? Are, are words that are come back, maybe. Cook for Easter. A hard boil, because you're making hard boiled eggs. Oh, Simon says, that's who says, yeah, not Timon, Simon. All right. Timon of Athens was in a puzzle a couple days ago. All right, here we go. Uh, marble, I don't know. Emphatic ascent, yes, yes, yes. No, uh, I don't know. Price to pay, time of year for hunting, open season, so it's not bone moles. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't have to be. <laughs> rye posts are thrusts uh, in, in fencing. Rye posts are, I don't know. Uh, maneuvers. Lion to pride as blank as the crash. So a pride is a group of lions, and a crash is a group of, I don't know. Um... Goodness, I don't know. I say, goodness gracious, I say. Take five, take over, take, I don't know. Small tips, I don't know. Uh, what what animal fits this blank? Um, what animal does fit that? Something's wrong. Does that animal fit that? I don't know. Symbol of life, I don't know. Cousin of a mariposa lily, hepatosigo lily. Uh, historic husband of Claudia Octavia would be Nero. Organization regulates fertilizers, the EPA. Be reasonable. Um, come now. Come now. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, John Cena is in Fast 10, I guess. Is that uh, like Fast and Furious? Are they up to 10 movies? I don't know. Uh, price to pay. Don't watch those movies. I have not seen any of them. Not even the first one. Uh, price to pay. Market rate is the price that you would pay. Uh, emphatic Ascent. 
This is Paul Anka. No, an Ankh is the poor. Is the oh God yes is the <laughs> all right oh God yes. Rye posts are I don't know um, marble orb. Oh yes, uh, not the substance marble, but the thing is a little sphere that gets a re uh, retorts our our rye posts our bone most and rhino a crash of rhinos. Why not? Because it's small tips. Yeah. Do -be -do -be -do 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 Oh, it's almost like I planned to solve in exactly 10 minutes. I didn't, but maybe I did. Maybe I was going faster or slower just so that I would time it just right. That's not true. I did not do that. But it would be funny if I did. I don't know. Uh, all right, small tips are ones. If you're going to tip uh, you know, the bartender, you might give the, that person a 5 or a 10 or a 20, or you could give ones. Whoever you're tipping in ones, you do you. Uh, I'm not going to judge. If you happen to be tipping in singles, uh, take take note. Yes, take note. All right. Um, so lots, lots, lots of stuff. I just like because there's totally a letter S in the grid, right there. Yeah. This is this is. Uh, thank you, thank you, Rebecca Goldstein and Rafael Musa. I'm honored that you chose to include an S in the grid for me. It really is. It's very nice of you. Um, I, I'm I'm touched. I'm flattered. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and if one of you happens to be watching this, seriously, thank you. I, I'm guessing you didn't do it on purpose. I'm not that, but you know, but why not? No, that was fun. Um, that was that was that was fun. Um, yeah, the things I knew, I knew the sports ones. I did not know Toadette. Um, I'm going to show this to. It's actually it's uh, it's Friday night right now, but on on Saturday I'm going to show this one to to Ari will get a kick out of it, and I think Brooke will like it too. Uh, if you don't know Ari and Brooke, wait till Mondays because I like to film. Uh, they're my kids, and they solve crossword puzzles with me. And we have good family time. What was Laura? Laura Jean Covey, protagonist of Jenny Hans to all the boys I've loved before, which apparently is a novel and not a Willie Nelson song, um, but it could be. Um, all right. He probably didn't write it. Dolly Parton probably wrote it, right? I don't know. Somebody probably wrote it. All right. Um, should we look it up? Yeah, we're going to look that up. We're going to look up Tigons. I thought they were at Ligers and Tyons, but I'm, I believe that they're Tigons. But, yeah, but this is the hybrid puzzle. We have Tigons and we have Pluots. Um, yeah. We have the Ankh, the Egyptian symbol of life. Oh, there was something else Egyptian in this, wasn't there? Octavia. Uh, was was Nero it was uh, near Egypt, but uh, that's the Roman emperor. Uh, maybe not. I thought I remembered something else, uh, Egyptian, but I very well could be wrong. I probably am. Oh gee. Okay, but here we go. Um, but we had tennis, the sport as love, and we had a tennis, a little tennis trivia, the Borg. Not the Borg. Bjorn Borg won five straight Wimbledon's. I, I remember that's when I started watching sports. And uh, and that was it. That was uh, Bjorn Borg. And you had Macaron Connors and uh, oh, Ily Nastasi was back there. And Ily, big crosser puzzle word. I-L-I-E. All right. Uh, I said I was going to look up um, Tigons. And I said I was going to look up this uh, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. It's a it's a novel. I guess there's not much, but I'm gonna. I said I was going to, so I should. Um, oh, is that a song? Uh, oh, oh, that was what it was, was the, the like Dolly Parton write the the Willie Nelson song to all the girls I've loved before. I don't know. Uh, or is that a Julio Iglesias song? They did it together. Maybe it's a Julio Iglesias song. I don't even know who wrote that song. Uh, for some reason, Willie Nelson's voice sticks in my head, but now I'm thinking it was a collab. Speaking of collabs, this puzzle is a, a mighty fine collab. Okay, let's go here. Let's look at to all the girls I've loved before, and then let's look at to all the boys I've loved before. Uh, do, 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 to all the girls I've loved before is a song, Willie Nelson, Willie Iglesias. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. A song written by Hal David. <laughs> so, who's Hal David? I don't know. Um... Country Pops, yeah, 1984. That that would be about when I was listening. Yeah, that was after Bjorn Borg uh, was done with uh, winning Wimbledon five times in a row. Mm. Originally recorded by Albert Hammond, was more famous for, yeah, Julio and Willie. All right. Breakthrough for Julio Iglesias in the English language market. That makes sense. All right. All right. And then we changed that to, to all the boys I've loved for. Let's see if the Wikipedia page has the same uh, 
Same title. It does. So it was a film. Oh, this is not new. It was a film in 2018. It was a young adult romance novel in 2014. I thought it sounded more more recent than that, but it's clearly not. Uh, Lara Jean Song Covey, 16-year-old half-Korean-American girl living in Virginia, close to her older sister and younger sister, keeps love letters. Oh, that's adorable. Love letters. Does anybody write love letters anymore? I'm guessing teenagers don't. But what a what a concept. She keeps love letters to all the boys she's ever loved in a teal hat box given to her by her late mother, who died of a head injury. Oh, when she was nine. Five boys. Oh, and then there's a story. The boyfriend, a boy from camp, a boy from seventh grade, Luke from homecoming, and from Model UN. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. I, I obviously did not remember, but her name's Lara Jean. And so that's uh, that's pretty well known, so I guess. So that's one if one, uh, one across. All right. And they made it into a film on Netflix. Its plot is similar with a few changes, of course. And then, P.S. I Still Love You and Always and Forever. Lara Jean. So well, if her title, if her name made it into the title of the of the the third installment, that's uh, that's that's legit. Okay. So all right, what was the other one? Tygons. 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 A tygon is the hybrid offering of a male tiger and a lioness and then the 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 liger is a a male lion and a female tiger is that right i think that's okay here we go tigons a hybrid offering male tiger and lioness i, th I thought it was tyon i thought wrong apparently uh they were thought to be sterile i thought all hybrids were sterile that's what someone told me or i made it up but like mules are sterile that's the thing right um but a 15-year-old hybrid was successfully mated in Munich at the zoo. The female cub was raised to adults, so that's a good sign that they're not sterile. Uh, the, like the tech, the males are sterile, the females are not. Well, maybe that's because mules are, and jennies, right? Because mule is a male hybrid of a horse and a donkey, and a jenny is a female hybrid. So that's why. So the mules are sterile, the jennies are not. Um, male tigons. But then what about... Uh, Tai Tai Gone. Titi Gone? Tai Tai Gone? Second generation Lai Tai Gone. Holy smokes. <laughs> okay. So a Tai Goness is the, the female who, who is able to reproduce, who is fertile, was mated to a male lion. So a Lai Tai Gone. Second generation hybrid. And then the Tai Tai Gone. Can you just keep going here? Do we just we just add uh, syllables? Oh boy. Ah. Coexistence of parental species only in captivity because the habitat. So so if they were given the opportunity to mate in nature, perhaps they would. But the habitats do not overlap. In the past, however, the Asiatic lion did coexist with the Bengal tiger. So it's possible that they naturally uh, made it. Uh, in India, there's a plan to shift some lions from their current home to the Gear Forest to Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary, which has some tigers, has not been implemented because the Gujarat state government does not want any other state to have lions in the forest. Gujarat is like, we have lions. Y'all, no. Um... Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. And then, yep, Liger. Lie Liger. List of poor Bantos, multi tiger, Panthera hybrid. Okay, so yes, there's a Liger and a Lie Liger and a Tigon and a Lie Tigon and a Tie Tigon. Uh, Lie Tie Tigon? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's. Feel it hybrid. Is there a list of them? Holy smokes, there's a lot of them. Ah! Okay, too much. There's a Blinks, there's a Caraval, there's a Euro Chaus, Euro. Okay, <laughs> that's a hybrid between the European Wildcat. There's something called the European Wildcat. Okay, this is too much. Margaret, too many. Cougar and Jaguar. Cougar and Leopard is a Puma bird. Domestic and wild. Oh, these are all wild. These are natural. Domestic and wild. Confirmed cat and feeling 
cat and jungle cat, cat and sand cat, cat and leopard cat. Holy smokes. Okay, too many. Too many. All right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, I think, I think this is a good time to end it. I think we've gone through the grid pretty well. Let's do one more check to the grid. Is there anything else worth looking at? But if you're still here, oh, oh this one. Anais Mitchell. Uh, Anais Mitchell. How do you pronounce this? I don't know. Um, all right, but let's, uh, I, I probably have heard of you. If you have both a, a Tony and a Grammy, that's, that's a good combination. That <laughs> means you're doing something right. Uh, Anais Mitchell. What do we got here? Anais Mitchell. The 2000 turn of the 2010s. Oh, Hades Town. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not familiar with Hades Town. Never seen it. Uh, don't know the songs. Um, it's probably pretty good, but I don't know it. But you're the you're the one behind it. There you are. You developed your album Hades Town into a stage musical, U.S. debut, and it's still on uh, still on uh, on on. Uh, on Broadway, right? I think it is. All right. All right. Well, well done to you, Anais Mitchell. And 16 years in Hades Town. And we're living here in Hades Town. I don't think that's how it goes. All right. <laughs> that's when I start singing songs that are not clued just because they have the same syllable number as others, I think I've been going too much. Uh, so have a wonderful day. Thank you for thank you for being a part of the channel. Uh, and if you stick around all the way to the end, wow. If you stick stuck sticked around, if you stuck around all the way to the end, wow. If not, that's you know uh, <laughs> above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, but thank you for for being a part of this at all. Um, having a blast. Tomorrow's Sunday. Get to do a nice long theme puzzle. Have a wonderful wonderful day. Bye bye.